Welcome to Triton College. I'm glad that you've chosen to take an, an online course. My name is Dr. Sarah Gallagher. I'm not the instructor for your course, but I'm an instructional designer here, and I'm going to take you through a tour of your classroom. In today's example, I'm going to take you through PHL 105 World Religions. I know this is probably not your class, but your course will look very similar to this. To begin with, take a look at the left-hand navigation menu. You'll notice that we have multiple items here. Course information, instructor contact, course materials, discussion board, announcements, my grades, online academic support, as well as Blackboard help. Most of the courses will contain these items, although there will be some differences between courses. Right now, we're on the course information. As you'll see, there's a short welcome letter and underneath there there's course information I'm just going to use the scroll on the left right hand side and go down to course information syllabus this is where you need to get started so click on course information and syllabus and read through each of these areas there's multiple ways of navigating you can click on the individual items and we'll jump to that area or you can use navigation arrows on the right and you can see what page now each of these aerial areas is very important to read through this is really going to get you started on the right path in taking your course after you've read through each of these either by clicking on them individually or by using the arrows at the end you'll come down to a syllabus review and confirmation Depending on your instructor, you'll have to take this syllabus confirmation. It's essentially a quiz, and you'll have to pass it with a certain percentage, and then the rest of the materials will be available to you. So let me show you what happens if you didn't take the quiz. You would go to the left-hand navigation menu, select on course materials, and you'll notice that there aren't any course materials ready for you. So let's go back to the course information in the left-hand navigation menu, select course information, Once again, read through all of these materials. Go to the bottom. Once you get there, select and you click to launch the quiz. Once you select click to launch, directionals come up, read through the directions, and when you're ready, select continue. And with a little magic, I've taken the quiz and I've passed it. Now that I've passed the quiz, the syllabus review completion, I can go over the left hand navigation menu, select on course materials, and all of the materials are available. Once again, uh, there are some differences between courses. In this course, you will be able to see, so the units are now available. Please realize that your instructors may call it something different and you may not be able to see every single unit in the course. That'll vary by your instructor. Uh, to access the information in the units, or they might be called modules or chapters, you just click on the unit. I'm going to click on Unit 2 this time. And once again, just like our course information looked similar earlier, you'll have table of contents that you can go through, and you can click on them to see what is in the course. This is pretty typical, seeing a general description of the unit, providing with some readings, some videos, uh, a unit two discussion board. Um, in order to do the discussion board, you can access it here by clicking click to launch. You can also access the discussion boards in the left-hand navigation menu by selecting discussion board. And I'll select that now just to show it to you. So here are the discussion boards. Uh, next on our left-hand navigation menu, actually I kind of jumped around a little bit. Let's go back up to this top and select instructor contact. This is information for how to contact your instructor. Um, typically, both of these options won't be available. I'm showing them today just so you can see them. If you select to send email, this sends an email to your instructor uh, through Blackboard, but it goes to whatever email account that is set up in Blackboard. And you'll also receive an email to your personal account or your school account, email account, whichever you have set up. Um, course messages is only done through Blackboard. So you send it through Blackboard, it's received through Blackboard, and that's the only way it can be received or uh, sent. So one of these options will be 
If you're not sure which ones your instructor is using or prefers to use, please contact your instructor. Next, in the left-hand navigation menu, Announcements. Another excellent opportunity for instructors to contact you. They'll post announcements. Make sure you check this on a regular basis. Also, in the left-hand navigation menu, My Grades. This is very important, clicking on My Grades. These will show, depending on what your instructor has decided to show, these are the items that you will be scored upon. Check your syllabus for other details. But I did want to point out a couple quick things on this. Uh, often instructors use rubrics. Rubrics are scoring guidelines. Make sure you click on those so you can see what it looks like. And also, if an instructor is giving you a comment, uh, there'll be a little thought bubble over here. You can click on that and you can see the information there as well. Two last items online academic support and Blackboard Help. These are both useful information for you. Online academic support will provide you lots of different resources. I do want to point out this one right here, the Educational Technology Resource Center, ETRC. That's an excellent go-to resource whenever you're having any problems uh, navigating through Blackboard. Not content related, just more navigation and technology. Excellent contact, contact for you. And then last but not least, Blackboard Help. This goes directly to Blackboard. Um, I use Blackboard Supportive Services all of the time. Um, if you like to read and watch videos, this is also a good resource. Okay, so that was the quick tour of the classroom. Good luck. I wish you a wonderful semester. And please contact your instructor with any questions. They're here to help you. Have a wonderful semester.